Good morning, grade 10. This is Teacher Visa welcoming you to our virtual classroom. Today, we are going to discuss the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. During the COVID-19 pandemic, have you ever wondered the average of confirmed cases in a week? The table 1 shows the daily new cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines as of July 8, 2020. If you notice, there is a 7-day moving average of 82. Do you wonder how they solve it? It is by using the measures of central tendency. In this lesson, you will be able to differentiate mean, median, and mode. Describe a set of ungrouped data using mean, median, and mode. Let us have first a pretest. Number one. It is the value that occurs most frequently in a set of data. The answer is letter C. Number two. Using the data 24, 25, 28, 30, 23, what is summation of x? The answer is letter D. Number 3. What is the mode of the given set of data 21, 23, 21, 25, 24? The answer is letter A. Number 4. What is the median in the given set of data 4, 6, 10, 12, 9? The answer is letter C. Number 5. What is the mean of the following data? 91, 61, 50, 37, 83. The answer is letter C. Let us have now a recap. In studying statistics, the collection of data or measurement is comprised. Hence, adding of several numbers is needed. The sigma symbol, read as the sum of, is used when adding several numbers. Summation or sigma notation is a convenient and simple form of shorthand used to give a concise expression for a sum of the values of a variable. For example, assuming that the table shows your final grades from the different learning areas, we can use variables to represent each learning area. We let x be the final grades of the different learning areas. This symbol is read as x sub i, where index i tells the position of each value. Considering the example, we can use this formula. To substitute the data, we have the summation of x sub i as i goes from 1 to 8 equals 85 plus 86 plus 84 plus 84 plus 88 plus 89 plus 84 plus 87. Therefore, the summation of x sub i as i goes from 1 to 8 is equal to 687. If we will use all the given values of a variable in finding the sum, the limits of the summation are usually omitted. Look at the example below. Try this. Given the data as follows, 34, 32, 36, 30, 39, 37, 33, find the summation of x. Correct! The answer is 241. You are now ready to learn the measures of central tendency. An ungrouped data is a set of values that is not organized or classified as a group. A measure of central tendency is a value that represents the whole set of data. These are mean, 
region, and mode. Let us now discuss the mean of ungrouped data. The mean of ungrouped data is obtained by adding all the values divided by the frequency of a set of data. The mean of ungrouped data is also called average. It is written as follows, where x bar is the mean, summation of x is the sum of all the values in a set, and n is the frequency. Considering the Table 1, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases from March 21 to 27, 2020 are as follows. 77, 73, 82, 90, 84, 71, 96. To get the mean, we have the following. Hence, the 7-day morning average of COVID-19 confirmed cases on March 27 is obtained by getting the mean of the 7 days prior to March 27, as shown on the next table. Let us now discuss the median of ungrouped data. The median of ungrouped data is the middle value of a set of data when all values are arranged in either ascending or descending order. If the frequency of the data is odd, then the middle value is the median of the set of data. If it is even, the median of the data is the mean of the two middle values. This formula can be used to identify the position of the median of a given set of ungrouped data. For example, Arranging in ascending order of the same data from the COVID-19 cases from March 21 to 27, 2020, we have Then, to find the middle value, we use the formula. The fourth score of the data is 82. Therefore, 82 is the median. Let us have example number 2. Find the median of the following set of data. By arranging the set of data, we have... Let us now use the formula to locate the position of the median, where n is equal to 8. Therefore, the median is the 4 and 5 tenths score. The 4 and 5 tenths score of the data is the mean of the 4th and 5th score. We have 33 plus 35 all over 2, and that is equal to 34. Therefore, 34 is the median. Since median is the midmost value, it can be easily determined even without using the formula. Example number 3. Find the median of the following set of data. Arranging the data in ascending order, we have Since there are 5 data, therefore, the middle value is the third score. Therefore, the median is 16. Example number 4. Find the median of the following set of data. By arranging the data in ascending order, we have Since there is an even number of value, the median is determined by the average of the two middle values. And those are 16 and 19. So we have 16 plus 19 all over 2. And that is 17.5. Therefore, the median is 17.5. Lastly, let us discuss the mode of ungrouped data. The mode of the ungrouped data is the value that most frequently appears in a set of data. When the value in a set of data appears only once, then the data has no mode. The data can be also classified according to the number of modes it has. If the data has one mode, it is unimodal. If the data has two modes, it is bimodal. 
If the set of data has more than one mode, it is multimodal. Using the data above from Table 1, the set of data has no mode since each value, which are 71, 73, 77, 82, 84, 90, 96, appears only once. For example, find the mode of the given set of data. Correct! The mode is 5 because 5 appears most frequently. The data is said to be unimodal. Let us have one more example. The water consumption in cubic meter for the past 6 months is shown below. Find the mean, region, and mode. To solve for the mean, we have... Therefore, the mean water consumption for the 6 months is 24.5. Let us have now the median. Arrange the data first. Let us solve for the middle value using the formula. 3.5 score relies between the third and fourth score. Since the frequency of the data is even, then the median is the average of the two middle values. In this example, we get the mean of the third and fourth value. Therefore, the median water consumption for the six months is 24.5. Let us now identify the mode. Yes, there are two different water consumption that appears twice. Therefore, the modes are 24 and 25. The data is said to be bimodal. Let us have the activities. Let's practice. Write your answer on the blank provided after each number. Keep practicing. Complete the table below by finding the mean, median, and mode of each set of data. Test yourself. Fill in the box with a number word as your answer for the puzzle below. Let us have the wrap up. How is the median of ungrouped data obtained? What should you consider when finding the median of ungrouped data? What are the classifications of data according to number of modes? Valuing. During this time of pandemic, have you ever considered prayer to be the mode of your daily activities? Did you put God to be the median of your life? Write a certain situation that answers the questions on the blanks provided below. Let us answer the post-test. Use the table at the right to answer the questions that follow. Choose the letter of the correct answer. The table shows the confirmed and recovered cases of COVID-19 in 15 barangays in Pasig City as of June 22, 2020. Key corrections are given to you. Just check your answer and be honest. I hope you have learned a lot today. Have a great day. Goodbye, grade 10.